My name is Mark Tutsell, Executive Chairman and Chief Creative Officer of Liabonet Worldwide and I am the President of the 2018 Clio Film Jury. A recent piece of advertising that, that I genuinely love is for Procter & Gamble, for Tide. Yeah, just your typical Super Bowl car ad, right? Or a hilarious beer ad. <laughs> and I thought the, the platform of It's a Tide ad this year stole the Super Bowl. Uh, beautiful in conception, immaculate in execution, um, it amplified and activated itself in, in different ways, and it stole the show. Uh, PlayStation, I adore. You may not think it to look at me. But I have commanded armies. We've conquered worlds. And though in achieving these things, I've set morality aside. I have no regrets. For though I've led a double life, at least I can say I've lived. You know, it was a film that really um, created such an amazing platform for PlayStation. Never underestimate the power of PlayStation. It's such a brilliant, insightful, humankind idea to, to, root, to, root the, uh, to root the campaign in. And I've always loved Guinness. And when I first saw Guinness Surfer, it had every single element that you want from a great commercial. Ahab says, I don't care who you are, here's to your dream. Product drama, product insight, production values that you've never seen before, um, just exquisite writing, amazing overlay of poetry, every T crossed, every I dotted, every moment that was immaculate, production value second to none, cinematography, drama, and, and, and just power and potency of a creative idea. Well, a person who's inspired me during the course of my career is probably um, Michael Conrad who actually is, is German. So it's, 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 it's up that we're sitting here in Germany, in, in uh, Bavaria, um, in, his, in his home. Um, Michael was um, an inspiration because he had the human touch. He had this incredible ability to connect to people and connect with people. And he was a great storyteller and, and a human battery. You know, he was one person who pushed you and pushed you and challenged you and always raised the bar, but did it in such a positive way, in such a way that, that really inspired and motivated you. I grew up on the coast in Wales, so this vista, being near water, makes me incredibly happy. Um, I find the coastline so special because it allows you just to collect your thoughts and to check out and to, to think. I was a lifeguard for many years before I got into advertising, and that's where my fascination with people came into play. You know, I love watching people, I love observing human behavior. I'm a great student, an eternal student of human behavior. So being near the ocean, being near the water, and being home in, in Wales is, is very dear and very special. An artist I have great admiration for is, is Turner, and the way Turner infused himself into the subject matter and captured the essence of, of the subject he was trying to document. He inspired me because the way he lends life, the way he saw life, and the way he totally committed to his, to his subject matter was, was, was amazing. We've been here for the week judging the film category this year and uh, it's been an exciting week actually. We saw a great deal of work uh, from many parts of the world. Um, a few themes um, came to the surface storytelling of course, human storytelling, visual spectacular, um, rule supreme. We saw many, many films that, that, that merged together all of the crafts that we have at our fingertips to create content. Great music, great cinematography, direction, art direction, performance, choreography, comedy of course. We like to laugh, you know, we like to enjoy ourselves and, and film presents a brilliant canvas for us to, to create that, that sort of a humorous interaction with people. Where we've arrived at, I think we've arrived at a, a beautifully curated body of work that's representative of the best of the best. Um, hopefully work that educates, that inspires and motivates and work that we can learn from and, and, and really work that I think will act as a barometer of the health of our industry at this moment in time. If you look at uh, 
the landscape that we operate in at the moment, the challenge we have as, as an industry is how do we harness intelligence? How do we leverage the power of data to inform our communication? How do we use data in a smart way? And how do we extract meaning from data um, that allows us to create better, more relevant, more stimulating, more useful, more valuable content for the people we're trying to connect with? I think connecting to people has never been easier because of technology, but connecting with people emotionally has never been more difficult. Mm -hmm.